freaking god. Not more lumpy potatoes, spinach, a rotten egg, spoiled meat, and a raw mushroom. Once again, I am forced to eat all of this shit at the side of my bed. I just don't understand why my younger siblings are not getting this punishment as I am, because they are troublemakers too. It's just so not fair. How come I'm the only one in the house getting this punishment? Oh come on Andrew, you know damn well why you are the only one in this house forced to eat nasty foods on a daily basis. Ugh, Dad, what have I told you about entering into my room without my permission? You just broke my rules again. Now get out of here, you old man with no life. Hey, you better watch that mouth of yours boy. I am your father, and I make the rules around here, not you. Talk back to me again, then you are grounded for another whole year. Do I make myself clear? I said, get the fuck out of my room, and I mean, right now, before I beat your ass. That's it. You have left me with no other choice but to beat your fucking ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that baton away. I am sorry what I said. I understand what you said about you making the rules around the house, and to what will happen to me if I talked back to you again. If I take back everything I said, just please don't beat my ass with that baton in your hand. God, you scare the living crap out of me when you do that. Uck. You know what, Andrew? Since I am feeling nice today, I will let you off the hook this time. But next time, you will get what's coming. Do you get that? Yes, sir. I understand your point. That's good. Now, if you will excuse me. I am going to go downstairs and watch some football. So you better stay up here, and don't try to escape while you're grounded. Now I am leaving. Oh my god. What gives my dad the right to pull out his baton and beat my ass with it just because I talked back to him? That is extremely harsh. I hate my dad when he tries to do that to me, and should go burn in hell for all I really care. My parents and Deb and my younger siblings are nothing but a strict family towards me, especially my dad. He's nothing but an idiotic man-child wannabe. Well, I have nothing really fun to do to be honest. So, what I will do instead is to just watch some YouTube videos on my laptop. But first, let me go get it real quick. Okay, I got my laptop out. Now let's see what's on YouTube today. Oh, and I swear to God, if it's something bad like a grounded video out of me, my teenager's next door gang, or any other villainous group like the Alanastiums, the Reapers, and much more I don't feel like explaining about. But oh well, let's just watch some videos anyway, because what else is there for me to do? Hang on just a minute. What is this I am looking at? Ha 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 <laughs> ha. But at the same time, his stupid childish tantrums are annoying as hell. I wish I can teach him not to be so annoying all of the damn time. Oh wait. Teach him not to be so annoying all of the time. I believe that just gave me the perfect solution on what I will do. You see, I have heard that he does exist in the end. So, what I will do is call him rude names, so that it will teach him a lesson on not to act so childish many times. Oh, I can't wait to see his priceless reaction when I call him rude names. And if he throws another one of his stupid and retarded childish tantrums when I call him rude names, then I don't care. Because seeing him act childish is also hilarious, especially in person. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
All right, enough chit-chatting, I am going to sneak out of my house, pray that I don't get caught by anyone, especially my dad. Now let's go. Ha! So long, you suckers. You can't catch me now. Okay, date. Me and the kids are gonna head to the restroom. If there is anything going on, just call us. We should be back in about five to ten minutes. Okay, Catherine, Brian, and Emma. You guys go ahead. I will be waiting right here for you. Well, now that Catherine, Brian, and Emma are all in the restroom, I am going to just sit here and relax until they get back. Hello there. What is your name? Um, do I know you from somewhere? Who are you, and what are you doing here? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Andrew Herrera Ackerman, and I am the leader of my teenager's next door gang. I am guessing that your name is Dave the Childish Dad, right? Um, yes I am. How do you know my name and who I am? Well, I have just watched one of your videos, and I got to say, they are pretty hilarious to me. I love the fact that you started throwing one of your childish tantrums all over the ground whenever stuff doesn't go your way. That really cracks me up. Um, thanks I guess. Oh, and there is one more thing I would like to say to you, if you don't mind. Sure, I don't mind. What is it that you want to say to me? You always act so stupid when you act childish. Like come on, they are so annoying as hell. Grow the freak up, you big fat man. I'm sorry, but what? What did you just say to me? What are you deaf? I said, you are so stupid when you act childish and throw one of your retarded tantrums all over the ground whenever stuff doesn't go your way. Grow the hell up for God's sake, you big fat muscular man with no life. Oh, oh my god. You are so mean. I thought you were nice, but yet you tricked me. What did I do wrong to you? That is none of your business, you big, stupid, fat, ugly, and retarded muscular man who doesn't know how to grow up and stop acting like a cry baby for the dumbest reasons. Go get some therapy, you big mistake. Oh, what's the matter? Are you gonna cry and throw a childish tantrum like a dumb and retarded man you are? Good, cry and throw a tantrum like a crybaby, because it's what you are. What? Oh, that was so mean. I can't believe you would ever call me rude names like that. You are so mean. Wow. <laughs> ha! Oh, this is so hilarious. This is exactly what I mean. You always act like a stupid crybaby whenever you don't get what you want. That's right. Cry like the stupid and retarded man child you are. It's what you are. Ha! Look at you, you are a stupid and dumb whiny baby. Keep crying all you want, since you are a big fat cry baby. Ha ha! Hey! You mister, turn the fuck around and look at me right now. Um, 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 oh shit, it's Catherine, Brian, and Emma. That's right. Just what do you think you are doing to my husband? Oh, I was just playing a game and had fun with him. Bullshit. 
I saw what you did. You were making fun of my husband by calling him rude names. You should know that he can't help with the way he acts, because to tell you the truth, he got dropped on the head when he was little, which messed up his mind to act childish. So, that is the reason why he tends to act like this, and you don't get to treat him like that. But that bitch face totally deserved to be made fun of, because even though his tantrums are funny, they are also annoying as hell. So I had to teach him a strong and strict valuable lesson on not to act like the world's biggest mistake. Excuse me? How dare you call my husband the world's biggest mistake? Just because he acts childish, doesn't mean he is the world's biggest mistake. Yes, his childish tantrums may be annoying and embarrassing, but that still gives you no right to call him all sorts of rude names. Yeah, I agree with mom. You still have no right to talk to our dad like that. Being childish is the way he is. I agree with you Brian. People like you disgust us. You always mistreat our dad by calling him rude names and stuff. Oh, and who even are you anyway? I'm Andrew Herrera Ackerman, the leader of the evil teenagers next door. And we like to cause all sorts of serious trouble all around the inner city, including the land itself. Oh, so you are another one of those vile troublemakers, huh? This proves that you are just as bad as the Alan Listings, the Reapers, the Storms, the Anka Star, the Strikers, the Legion of Malak, the Rubber Bandits, the Chaos Coalition, the Jimmy Pack, the Holland Gang, the Glass Bandits, the Legion of Sport Bike, and much more to explain. You know what? Just get the fuck out of here and leave right now, you sick grey-haired teenager. Wow. It's okay Dave, that mean teenager Andrew is gone now. So he won't ever bother you again. Yeah dad, it's all going to be okay. You may act childish, but you still don't deserve to be treated like this. Yeah, I agree with you Brian. Sure, your childish tantrums can be annoying and embarrass us, especially in public, but he shouldn't have said all those hurtful things to you. We still love you no matter what. Always remember that. Thanks Catherine and kids. You don't know how much that really means to me. Or, don't mention it. That's what family is for. Hello. Andrew's fucking idiot. How dare you call Dave the childish dad rude names? You know he can't help with the way he acts. And besides, how would you like it if someone made fun of you and called you rude names because of the way you are? Well, you probably wouldn't like it either. You will have to be ashamed of yourself boy. That is so it Andrew, you have left us with no other choice but to ground you for another whole year. And screw the explaining of what gross foods you will be eating for every breakfast, lunch, dinner, meal, and dessert, because we have said it millions of times already and it never works. Now do us all a favor. And get out of our sights and head up stuff to your useless and retarded room right now, you stupid excuse of an older brother of ours. Alright. You know what? We've had enough of your shitty motor car crying sounds. Andrew fucking idiot, get the fuck back downstairs right now. Yes, Dad. What do you want? Well, since that you always cry like a damn motor car whenever you run up to your room after getting grounded by us, we have figured out a much better punishment for you. We are going to go outside and turn you into a motor car. Wait, what? Are you being serious? Please tell me this is a joke or something. Does it look like we are joking? No, we are not joking at all. We are being dead serious. We are going to turn you into a motor car and drive you around town as a punishment. Yeah. This serves you right for all the damage you have caused to the land of beyond and even the entire family. We really hope that this punishment will get you to learn something. Not cause serious trouble. Even though me and Usher cause a little trouble ourselves, but it's nowhere near as serious as yours. And your punishment will start right now. So come on, let's go outside and do what must be done for. Ah, oh, fuck no. There is no way I'm accepting this punishment. It will be so humiliating and embarrassing getting driven as a motor car with all the people laughing at me. Well that's just too bad. It's either you accept this punishment, or I will give you another ass hooping. And trust me, 
You don't want to get another one. So what's it gonna be, huh? Well, I really don't want to get another but hooping by you. So I guess I have no other option but to accept this punishment, as much as I don't want to. That's what we thought. Now come on, let's all go outside and get this punishment started. Okay Andrew, now that we're outside, it's time for me to turn you into a motor car. So get ready in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vion logic, activate. So honey, Autumn, and Asher, are you all ready to give Andrew what he deserves? Oh, you bet I am born ready. Yeah, me too. And me too. This is what our brother gets for all the terrible trouble he has done, which is much worse than me and Autumn's. Well, I am ready too. So come along everyone. Let's drive Andrew the motor car all around town and give him the taste of his own medicine. Okay. No, you better not even think about driving me or I will. Wow.